Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the world that is Dauntless. Okay, so, uh, I didn't abandon the game. My recording severed the tie <laughs> to, to myself and it. I made like three videos, and each video had just insanely corrupted face cam, as well as uh, gameplay. One of them had gameplay. One of them was just face cam being corrupted. But it was enough to me for me just to be like, you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> I just left. <laughs> but it wasn't the worst departure because when we came back, oh my golly, we have this brand new weapon called... Uh, ethereal strikes. It's basically brass knuckles, except of course because it's dauntless, they are the size of my whole bicep, basically. Fuck that, my thighs. <laughs> They're the size of a whole human thigh. I don't even think that's right. The size of Dwayne the Rock Johnson's thigh. There we go. That's that's better spec. That's better perspective. Also, boom, and <laughs> regardless, hello. <laughs> uh, also, Muggle is sitting. Um. Okay. So I was really confused how these work, as I'm sure everybody was. Uh, okay, it's, I'll break it down in the easiest way I could possibly, possibly can. You have square, 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 which is your light attacks, happens pretty fast, pretty easy to get. Um, you have your second combo and your third combo. Now, um, you also have just power, uh, just like, uh, uh, the ability to amp yourself up. Um, they are called, yeah, they're called techniques. Uh, that's how you activate each thing. So basically, each combo puts you in a different technique. Um, now, each technique, you can like basically amp yourself up um, to get a special buff. So if we do the basic focused combo, so square, 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 or XXX, um, we get the first one, which is Tempest Form. And that when we hold down that button, we uh, we gain increased attack speed that lasts for a long duration, which is awesome. You rarely need to do this more than two or three times in a fight. Amazing. The second thing, Karma Breakdown, we, we gain that form by doing Spirit Barrage, which is uh, square, Y, Y, or triangle, triangle, whatever, or X, triangle, triangle, Jesus. Um, so then we can activate that special thing, which this one gives us uh, Strike Forward, damaging the first target, which is striking forward, damaging the first target hits, and dealing damage over time uh, to them for a long duration. Yeah. So we amp ourselves up, and now we just basically put a bleed effect on our enemy. Awesome. And then we have Adamant Bolts, which is unleash energy and a focus blast, damaging the first enemy hits. Deals bonus damage if Tempest Form and Comma Break are affected at the same time. So, what this kind of means is you want to work through your forms. So you're going to want to go, you're going to want to encounter the beast, do the first combo, square, 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 and then quickly activate that buff, increasing your attack speed. That's up. Awesome. Now you're going to want to work on your next one, Spirit Barrage, square, Y, Y, or X, Y, Y. Um, then you're going to want to uh, throw that on the person you're fighting. Perfect. And then you're going to want to hit Y, 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 and then you're going to want to go Y, 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 which is your heavy attack, a bit slower, but kind of hard to sync up, but not that bad. Um, and then you're going to want to basically blast the, the, the beast that you're fighting. This is... <laughs> well, again, I feel like it's not that bad. Like, as soon, if you break it down or, okay, I'm just basically working my way to get to this place, which is this huge cannon blast, uh, which is really easy to sync up. And yeah, it just, it seems way better. <laughs> and yeah, it just, I think it feels like a lot right now because I'm not really focusing on, because it's brand new. I've only played two missions with this person. Uh, so yeah, but that is what we're doing. Also, we're trying to hunt a specific type of gauntlet, so we are fighting the shock beast called Stormcaller and trying to bust his tail in half. Also, please don't get corrupted footage, <laughs> because that again, that's the reason why there hasn't been Dauntless. Uh, it's because there was just a crazy amount of, of uh, corruption happening with OBS. It uh, was lagging out and breaking, uh, but I think I fixed it, hopefully. If not, then well. This video probably never seen the light of day, and I probably have given up on Dauntless a little, but that was also one of the reasons why I didn't continue Dauntless, though, is because uh, there's just so many other games going, uh, but this is awesome. I love, I love one, that, this to me is like the perfect kind of stuff. It pulls you back into the game. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, there's this new person in the tower, similar to the gun guy. She's like, hey, I'm from this place. This is what happened to me. I am a master of this archetype of weaponry I guess um, and you have a whole catalyst of things to unlock we are hunting for this one Stormbreaker, which will increase lantern charge which of course I like although uh, my build is kind of based around attack speed and that's not quite as good <laughs> as you think so I may actually 
want to stick with these ones, which give you stagger damage, which these things already do, but the eighth shot deals bonus incendiary damage, or sorry, blaze damage. So I don't know, but what I do know is let's get going. Now, to be fair, I have not played Dauntless in a long time, and I have only played with this weapon twice, so please forgive me if I'm the worst. Uh, yeah. <laughs> also, we don't have the appropriate weapon power, but it's fine. We can get by. I will say, though, one of the things I was hoping for was, was like a weapon that that wasn't the the biggest thing on the planet <laughs> where this thing is like takes up your whole back when you're wielding them they're not that big so why would you not just permanently have them i don't know regardless uh yeah very very happy with dauntless especially them adding new weapons like this with brand new combos like that's a big thing adding a complete different weapon type with a thousand different variations you got to make all that art you got to 3d render all that shit like amazing new update i love when they do that especially in a game like this also, uh, again, I, I don't know how much I'll be chatting while we're fighting, because <laughs> I, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I just, you know, it, it, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot to manage. <laughs> I think he's over there far right. Yeah, I don't see him anywhere over here. Um, but yeah, it's a lot to manage. It's a lot of a lot to manage when you're sitting there and trying to do punchy punches, combos, and going, going through your forms, and then just getting kicked in the mouth, and then trying to say anything that makes sense <laughs> is a battle. A battle that I hope to not win, <laughs> but do somewhat well. Not a single person has found him. Two seconds still in rage, or two two percent until rage. I'm sorry. Oh, there he is. Over here, people. Hello. Hey, you. There we go. And activate. No, wait. We didn't do it. Apparently. One, two, damn it, the last form needs to hit. There we go, activate thing. There, we're activated. Now we got form one going, perfect. That lasts a long time. Nope, square. Square, why, why? And now activate that. And we've, oh, did I, I don't think I hit him though, so that doesn't count. Square, square, square. Did I do it? I think I did it. Nope, didn't do it. I'm really annoyed. I need to get to my second form. Yeah, so I was reading it again just now in editing, and I think it said you were required to have two forms. So I need to basically do the, the XXX and then XYY. Uh, and then I'll have two forms, and then that will allow me to do a bleed effect on the boss. Yeah. There, I think that works. I don't know how to activate the one that damages him. Because I, I hold down the thing. And I think that just gives me a power-up. Maybe I just need to dash through him and that's what that is? I don't know. That's weird. No, he's going, he's doing his thing. Ooh. Trying to hit him, trying to hit him in the slice. It's not happening. Let's heal. Why is he taking so long? What the fuck is happening? Come over here. Okay, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. What is going on? He's doing this thing where he traps people in there. Alright, boom, boom. Damn it, give me my thing. See, that's the thing. That's the thing I need to get going, but I don't know how to do that. I thought maybe you just need to get to the second form. I don't know. That that guy did the most most of the work. There. Amp up this way. Get me to my next form. Damn it, that was the thing I didn't hit. Fucking stupid, stupid, stupid. Nope, square. I got it, okay. I got it. I gotta hit him with it. Don't hit me with that. Don't run out, don't run out, don't run out, don't run out. It ran out, you fucking piece of shit! <laughs> Damn it! Oh, this is the worst. It's fun though, I got some guidance and gameplay though, which is fun. Alright, now I can I can go all there we go, He Man. He did the things.
Jeepers creepers, man. I just want to get to him. I still think this is the thing that Dauntless is so weird. Is I, I like, again, half of the game is you running to the enemy just to get, like, any distance. And then he runs away. And it's just like, you think they would find that that's not a good look. Like, you know, no one, that's not a rewarding feeling. Yay, they staggered him. Give me this. Oh, motherfucking damn. <laughs> Shit. Oh, luckily we respawned right here, though, so it's not the worst. Worst things could have happened, for sure. So I find we were, like, really hard to stagger when in this mode. Okay, I got it again. There! Okay, I hit him. Now we just need to get to the final stage, which is this. No, I need to get all my things going. Okay, we got it. We got it. I can... Right here. Okay, well, I, apparently I thought I had both things on him, but I guess I didn't. Well, it would be, it'd be, normal t it'd be normally 2,000. Or at least... Well, maybe. Maybe I just didn't get a critical headshot. I should have focused on his face. Yeah, because it's not that hard to aim, either. And we just get our basic one going. Boom. Let's buff ourselves up with this. Let's go. Let's get that again. Let's go square. Yeah, I need to get the last hit on him. Oh, he's gone. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what they did. I, oh, I think it's because we're playing, like, really low level and I have really high armor. So, that's why we're not dying instantly. Okay, I thought I was I was gonna run, but can't, apparently my, my person just slowed down completely. A bit frustrating. Okay, got him. Okay, I hit him with everything. So now we need to start building our thing. So boom, boom. We just need to hit him once to get that thing, to get the technique going. Perfect. Now it's square. Why? 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 I think we got it. Okay, now this one. Damn it, I need to get that one off. I'm, I think I need to stop being so impatient. There, okay. Nope, now the other ones wear off. Shit. Okay, I got him. I got him, but I'm not going to be able to get him off because it's stupid. I hate it so much. Why the fuck did you jump backwards? I want to quit. <laughs> Just, <laughs> it's so, so disheartening. Oh, you can't jump and hit, which is weird. Not me! Oh, I was able to get that thing, though. That's fun. We got him. Oh, no, we didn't. We're close. Okay, I have the thing going. That, see, 1,600. I think we'd be doing more damage if um, if I had a better weapon. We have, like, the weakest variant of the weapon we can. So I think that's also a giant part of it. Did we break his tail? No, I don't think we have. Hopefully, we got something, though. <laughs> we really needed tail parts. Ooh, I got plus six on that one. Or plus whatever, you know, something. <laughs> um... Oh, I don't think we did. Damn it. Yeah, I was being I was trying to make sure I showed you guys the combo building thing rather than focus on the tail which we needed a break cuz uh, I'm trying to get these ones at, uh well, I'm not sure if it's best because these ones probably would be best cuz it's when you get to 8 shots. Um they're, they're like uh, we get an additional 100 damage of blaze, so I think it would be worth it just constantly buffing that up. 
Because again, if you, as long as you're using the, like the small melee ones, but I don't, I don't know what's better. I think you like if you just had your attack buff and you just kept using those things and you were just keep putting like I would like to see the the difference between someone who uh, who just uses like the first two techniques just to buff themselves up and weaken the enemy and keep stacking that like damage over time effect on the enemy, uh, then the person that's trying to get like all of his ducks in a row and then try to use to try to make his way to like that final blast because you want need one thing I didn't know though is in order to get that cannon blast you need to get every single one of your techniques which is square 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 a uh, square triangle triangle um and then uh triangle 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 to get all three things so that you're able to do that cannon blast but in order to get amplified damage you need to make sure both of those other effects are active so that's a bit tricky so then your mind is kind of doing the stuff in the background when you're not really dodging and stuff the good news is that these weapons seem to be very I don't know, I just find I don't get hit. Like, I feel like I'm fine, even when I'm being sloppy when playing with them. Um, I don't think, yeah, we did not. Dang it! Shit! Although, again, maybe these ones are best. Might as well throw some blaze in there, because there's nothing really else to upgrade, so might as well. Yeah, and one of the things that these things do amazingly well is they're blunt, uh, and they do, I think, extra stagger damage. So when there's, there's certain annoying bosses where when I was playing guns were just so immensely frustrating, but it's... Uh, it's like the cat where apparently if we use a heavy attack we can knock him on his ass almost every time And it's it seems like it's really really satisfying also these ones just kind of look extra dope You know that's the thing that bothers me so much in this game is that there's so many things that I'm like, oh my god That looks amazing, but then it's like oh I, I could not use that effect at all <laughs> That is super not good for me kind of thing, which is not good, you know, like like this one, I mean this one's fine, dodging through an attack gives you more attack speed, but apparently attack speed is not what you want with these, uh, because, uh, with these weapons, because it just gets messy, because uh, like, you're trying to complete your combo, so if you, if you, you can't do that as quick, it gets messy apparently. Yes, I also think there's a new boss, um, it's like a weird falcon thing, it might have always existed, but, yes, <laughs> I don't know about that. I think it's part of the Rift family, which, dude, I fucking love, like all the Rift armor looks extra, extra badass, kind of like edgy a little. It's the armor that I'm wearing. Looks like ballistics resistant leather. I like it. Anyways, regardless, ladies and gentlemen, just a quick little Donald's video. Um, I, I'm not sure if we're going to go full hog into this game again. I think it's going to be kind of like what happened with me with Warframe when there's just a kind of an absence of things that, uh, like, ac absence of other games. I would be like, okay, now I have some time to dedicate to Dauntless. But right now, but right now, man, there's just, there's just so many games. <laughs> there's Borderlands. There's Code Vein. Um, there's just so many games that I'm just really enjoying at the moment. There's still Let It Die. Uh, yeah, so there's just a lot <laughs> going on right now. So hopefully you guys are patient with me. But I do very much like the game. And if you guys are interested in the new weapon or you're bored, uh, I would highly advise jumping on and trying to get uh, good with these new weapons because they are a bunch of fun. I also love what they're doing with the Dauntless Worlds and just slightly little nice upgrades here or there is just a wonderful idea of getting people back in and invested in the game. But yes, thank you so much for watching. As always, there's a subscribe button above me as well as two videos from right. Thank you again and goodbye.